Hey everybody, welcome to Vintage Variety. Today I'm gonna do a video on my collection of antique purses. I also own this book, it's called Antique Purses. It's a history identification and value guide by Richard Hollinger. This first purse was made by Meeker. It is made of leather. It is a Art Nouveau purse and it has a design stamped into the leather. Look at the frame on this one. And this little piece right here is called a turn lock. It has turn lock stamped onto it. And that locks this frame into place so the purse doesn't just open up. And to undo it, that has to be turned and it releases the latch. And this is what the top of this looks like. And this is the inside. The inside's also leather, but it's a kind of like a suede leather. And you can see where it's stamped Meeker. It has a small inside pocket. And here are some similar ones by Meeker in the book. Jimco also made a lot of these purses. This next purse is from the Art Deco period. And to be as old as it is, it, it's just in excellent condition. This is a mesh purse by Whiting and Davis. And it has a painted design on the mesh. This is the purse frame. These old purses would have been lined with silk and over time the silk just pretty much disintegrates. This little purse is actually in the book and I'm gonna show you guys. There's a picture of it in the book. And this is it below the picture in the book. The one in the book looks a little more faded than mine, but you can see the pattern's the same. Here's a close up of the one in the book. Here's another Art Deco purse. This one is made out of mesh also. The top of this little purse is sterling. And there's the design on the top of it. And here's one in the book that's slightly similar. The maker of this particular purse is Mandelaine. This little purse is leather and I have not been able to find anything exactly like it in the book. I believe that it may very well be either Victorian or Edwardian. This is the top of the frame of this purse. Kind of comes up. It's done in brass and it has these little glass stones set into it. And then this is the carrion handle. There's a close up of what the body of the purse looks like. And there's the back. This is the closure on this purse. This just kind of pushes up to open. You can see the inside was silk lined and it's all starting to shred. This one has an attached mirror. And then this is a little change purse. The closest thing I found to it in the book is a beaded purse that was made in France. And you can see it has a similar closure. And here's another one with a closure that's similar. Here's another little purse that's similar to the one I just showed. And by similar, I mean the frame is similar. 
it closes in the same way. This one doesn't close properly anymore. Have these little glass stones set into the frame. This one is a combination of beads and embroidery. See all these little details. These are glass beads. This one has no lining at all. It is a beautiful purse. Here's another little purse from my collection. And I don't really believe this one's antique, but I do store it with my antique purses. I also have a collection of vintage purses. I'll probably do a video on those also. This little purse is made of satin and it has all this detailed beadwork. There's the handle. Has the lipstick closure. And it is starting to have some wear on the inside, but I really think this one is probably just vintage. It says handmade in Belgium. And this is the little mirror. It's just a little square mirror. This is a very early example of a mesh purse. It is sterling. This one has the lining in it. It is leather, but it is very old and you can see it's starting to crack. Here's a close up of the frame. Here's a similar one in the book. This is a little seed bead purse. It has a drawstring top, little tassel at the bottom. And look at all the detail in this. Here is a similar one in the book. This little purse has a belt clip on it. This is the belt clip where it could be clipped on at the waist to a belt. There's the frame on this one. It's beaded. It has all these tiny little glass seed, seed beads. Some of them have came off. This is also leather. Here's the clasp on this one. This part just kind of squeezes in to open it. And then that's the inside. It has a little pocket on the inside. And here's a very, very similar one in the book. Here's another little mesh 1920s or 30s purse. This is painted mesh. This one's also in the book. Here's the one in the book. And you can see it has the same pattern. This next purse is what I think is the prettiest purse in my collection. And I don't believe that the top to this is original. Look at all the beadwork on this one. And these are all tiny little glass seed beads. all the detail. This must have taken someone a very long time to do. There is something a little similar in the book. The next purses that I'm going to show you are very different and they are in the miscellaneous section of this book. These are 
I, I want to say they're called dance purses. This one, you can see some of the enamelings coming off of it. And this is the back. It's very, very small. And when you open it up, it has a little powder puff. And this is blush. Look at that, still has the powder in it. There is something else. This is a lipstick holder. And it opens up. And this is a tube of lipstick. Now, I don't know if this was refillable, but I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. And it still has lipstick in it. And close it back. And that's what that looks like. And you can tell it has quite a bit of wear on it. So someone must have used this quite a bit. There are a few examples in the book. Um, here's one little example. Here's another little tiny purse. It's probably silver plated. And there is a similar example in the book. Then I have this one. Here's the back. And this could be slipped over a finger and carried like this. This is the inside and that's a little mirror. And the mirror opens up and here we have a face powder. Here's one in the book, this one's round but you can see it has a little ring for carrying it on your finger. Here's another little purse I wanted to show in this video. It has all of the speed work on it. I got this at a thrift store and I think I paid like a dollar for it. And it says, Bonsoir. made in Japan with Italian beets. This is something similar to it in the book. This one's kind of similar in that it has all these little tiny beads. And there's another one. Here's a Another little Whiting and Davis mesh purse. I also don't think this is antique. I believe it's spinach. And there's the Maker's Mark, Whiting and Davis. Gold mesh Whiting and Davis purse in the book. This purse is also mesh. It is Whiting and Davis has a little drawstring top. The inside is in very good condition. It still has the lining. And there's the little tag, Mesh Whiting and Davis, made in the USA. Something a little similar to that in the book. So they did have earlier versions of mesh drawstring bags. This purse is what I believe to be an antique reproduction. And this is the front of it. You can see it has sequins, which is pretty much a dead giveaway that it's a reproduction. But it's still a really cute antique looking purse. Most of these purses I paid between a dollar or two dollars, or they were gifts from friends. Here's another purse that would fall 
into the category of being vintage rather than antique. It's a tapestry purse. Look at the clasp on this. It has a filigree lipstick clasp. This one was made in France by hand. You can see the brand name is Walborg. But isn't that pretty, guys? I think it's beautiful. The last purse that I'm gonna show today, I'm not sure about. I don't know if it's antique or if it's just a vintage purse. It has a tassel at the bottom. And this purse is done in velvet. Top of this, I believe, could be Bakelite, which would tell me that it's vintage rather than antique. It's very well made. And we open the inside and you can see it's silk and it's starting to shred. So I'm really not sure about this one, but it's beautiful and I like it. So let's look at this book together. This book is a second edition. I don't know if it's still in print because I bought this book used. If this is your first time watching my channel, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos on vintage, antique items, decorating with thrifted and vintage finds and old fashioned recipes. I am trying to grow my channel and I put a lot of time and effort into these videos on my days off. I do work full time, so it takes up some of my days off to make these videos and edit them and upload them. So I would appreciate you guys sharing these videos and recommending my channel to your friends. And I certainly appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.